in many ways, I am a uh, proponent of artificial intelligence because I think that it can uh, solve many of the dystopias caused by other things, such as disease or climate change, uh, and uh, is also a possibility for many of uh, the utopian and future aspects that we hope humanity to evolve to. It, of course, has challenges. And so I break this into a fairly simple two-by-two two matrix, which is kind of utopia, dystopia, work, existence. Right? And roughly speaking, you go, okay, in the utopia side, it's for work, it's all of a sudden uh, many human jobs become much more interesting because we essentially have a lot of uh, artificial intelligence assistance in terms of many of the parts of jobs either being uh, much more reliable or repetitive or anything else, we become greatly enhanced, just why we've become greatly enhanced from uh, all technological evolutions. In the utopia existence, you solve things like disease, you solve things like you know, uh, longer, healthier lifespans, and the ability to actually do that robustly will require uh, software and artificial intelligence techniques. In the dystopia for work is, well, you actually, uh, the, the, the benefits of all of this machine productivity only benefits a few and not the masses, and you have a greatly imbalanced society. So we obviously need to uh, attend to the creation of a social future that involves, you know, includes everybody. And so whether or not that's uh, adequate kinds of employment for the middle class and how technology becomes a force for the support of middle class versus a support, a, a pressure against in terms of jobs. There's a bunch of different work on that in entrepreneurship, what kinds of jobs, these sorts of things. And then the dystopia existence, people frequently work, worry about the Terminator and they worry about kind of uh, the evolution of, of AI as a hostile species. And there's above zero risk of that at some point. But actually, in fact, the real risks involve probably what AI do, uh, what artificial does, does in the hands of human beings. Because we know that human beings are capable of doing very extreme things. And so a lot of the, the ethics work and the, and the steering away from dystopia to utopia is to make sure the right kinds of, of AIs are built by the right kinds of people that lead to a better kind of global society. And so part of how you identify who are the leaders that you want to back in the creation technology, whose, whose projects you are going to lend your own network to, your own resources to, your own intelligence to, are the people that have the right program. Because the goal, of course, is not the fastest path to artificial intelligence. The goal is the fastest path to good, helpful artificial intelligence that helps humanity reach its aspirational outcomes. Thank you.